What? Pharmacokinetics. But when the body has taken up that it, in this form it, 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 it likes, when the body has taken it up now, the dog, that's, that form it likes that the dog has taken up, will start, that, the dog will now start acting on the body by making the body to do what you want it to do. If it's headed, it's headed you, you want it to kill, it will start acting on it. It's really that mechanism of, of action that will help to kill that headache. Are you there? So all those things the drug is not doing on the body is what they call what you call what? Command code. That, that, that. So when you talk, when you're talking about pharmacology, you are talking about pharmacokinetics and what? I'm talking about what? Pharmacology. Now, of course, now when you talk of inscription, that this word inscription is 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 uh, broad. If you want to talk about, we talk to drug now. You start to talk about what? Drug clearance and what? Elimination. Are you there? Are you there? This inscription now. This inscription. If this description is talking about what? Drug clearance, are you there? Yeah. Clearance of the drug from the system. And what? Elimination. Elimination. Okay. This, this is make up the what? Description. Are you there? Clearance of the drug from the body and what? Elimination. The one that the body did, did not use up. Are you there? So if you know all these things, another point you should also know is this. I'm running down to what you should know when, when, when you are discussing what? Pharmacology. Or for any particular what? Drug. Then there's another, another important point. When you, you, you must have noted this from pharmacokinetics and from pharmacokinetics that, that, that I need. There's another important point I will explain about the drug. The what is called what? Drug interactions. Drug what? Interactions. You should also note about what? Drug what? Interactions. Drug what? Interactions. Drug inter interactions. Drug what? Interactions. Very important. Drug what? Interactions. Now, drugs you eat, sorry, the drug, the, the, the drug you take, have a lot, of, a lot of interactions. We have the one we call we have drug drug interactions. Are you there? We have drug food interactions. Interactions. We have we have um, we also have drug even drug and supplements, other supplements you take, either you can be have you can have drug halves, either interactions. We have many interactions, and some interactions are good. Why some interactions are not there? Good. There are some interactions that will help the drug to do what work more. That help to improve the the efficacy of the drug. But there are interactions that will not that will limit that. Will, that would do, do what limit the, the case of the drug. That will not allow the drug to do what? Work, work well. Are we there? That will not allow the drug to do what? Work, work well. Now, in drug drug interactions, there are some drugs you take with another drug, their effect will be better. Are you there? There are some you take, they will like now, if you're having typhoid and you're, and, and you're using um, a, a drug we call ciprofosacin, the one you could call ciprotab. Ciprotab is a brand name mm. by a company. Yes. But the name of the drug is what? Ciprotab. It's called what? Ciprotab. It's, it's good for what? You know why it comes in 500 mg tablets? Yes. It's good for what? Typhoid. Now, if you take this drug alongside a drug that contains iron, like fesolates you take, I, I, fesolates, 
iron containing drugs. This iron one allow this sequencing to work, to work well. Are you there? It, 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 it will not allow it to work well. Have you not seen that such inter, 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 interaction is not good? No, but I will say one has no effect. But I will see affect some anti malaria drugs. There are some anti malaria like some those in, 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 in a class, that's a class we call artemisinin. Those ones, artesonate them and um, um, artemetal at, 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 at between them. All those at, 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 artemisinin based drugs, drugs that contain vitamin C, affect them. It's not allow them to work. So you see that those drugs, that, the best interaction is not good. So if you must take that drug, you you give a very long space of time before you take, you take the other one. You don't take them once together. Are you there? Now there are some food that if you take with some drugs, the food will affect the drug. And there are some food you also take together with some drug to help them to work well. And if you are treating if you are treating if you are treating malaria with atemptal atemptal low fatin or atemptal based drugs, and you go and use a fat containing fried food, fat containing food, fried food, it will help them. It helps them to be absorbed well. Yes. No. Are you there? Yes. It helps them to be absorbed well. Browse it now. I thought um, fatty foods. Uh, that's what? Increases uh, the volume of malaria in the system. Fatty food helps the artemisinin based combination drug to be absorbed well. Check it, you can browse it. Are you there? So, we said to the other, the, 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 so that you are having us because of. Do, do you know why drug interaction is important? Because the same stomach, this, you as a person maybe, or the patient may be suffering from this one, suffering from this disease, suffering from this disease, and you give many drugs at the same time. Giving give many, many drugs at the same time for your patient is what we call polypharmacy. Poly Pharmacy. Poly pharmacy. What it means is that when you treat the patient is having you see a prescription with different drugs that is treating treating different ailments. A patient that has the diabetes may have hypertension. The same patient may even be diabetic at the same time. The same, the same patient may start complaining of headache. <laughs> the same person may, 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 may walk on the street and they Broke, broke his, his, his leg. He's he's the diabetes already. He's half. He's, he's he has high, high hypertension. He may even have HIV. Mm -hmm. Of course, a, 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 a someone that has HIV may be diabetic, yes. and he may have hypertension at the same time. And he may go on and, and break his leg. <laughs> and, he, and, and he he can have malaria. <laughs> he may even go with something like this and develop hepatitis. So, how will we not take care of the patient? You see, the patient will be taking many drugs. So, this is what we call what? So, such person, I want to tell you, I want you to, to know the importance of knowing these drug interactions. This will help you, or the pharmacy, or the doctor, to know. You cannot say because this person should, should, should not take this drug. Can you can order in illness now? He can take this drug, but. How will you now take it so that this one will not interact with this one? And this one interact with the other one. So you should also know the drug that can interact with each other and know how to space it out. These are what you should know as somebody in the drug. Because a person may say, this drug, can I take them together? You say you don't know. I don't know who you are again. No, I, you, you, you can never tell a patient you don't know. Instead, you, you, take, you tell a patient, I'll get back to you. Yes. Give me some time. You can call a, an older colleague or a colleague, or you can browse it and tell the person, the, the, the patient, don't say I don't know. You don't think, they're not like I don't know. Instead, I'll get back to you. You call your boss or somebody you know that know better than you, or you browse it. You can browse, no, you call the person to compare. Then, after, when you must have gotten the answer, you tell the person. And you, as you are, as you are getting the answer now, you are learning to. Yes. But if you say, I don't know, that means. You don't know. And you, you, you don't need to know. That one is gone. That is how to increase their words. 
knowledge. So you know that's what he wanted. He wanted is to have something. Admission. 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 Dear ladies and gentlemen, I bring good news. Admission into the diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician EENU Mission Hospital is on. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhT, is an accredited tertiary institution that offers students a diploma degree to work in hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to promote safe and effective use of medicines at grassroots level. Graduates of Pharmacy Technician School EENU who wish to study pharmacy in the university can obtain direct entry into any university of their choice. The school has a well-equipped laboratory, comfortable hostel, and a healthy refectory. The requirements for admission are credit in English, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. In GCE, WAEC, NECO. NABTEB are not more than two sittings. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhT, is located at EENU Mission Hospital, Agidi, Anambra State. For more information, call 0803 708 1512, 0813 868 2003, 0803 267 5322. Diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician. A tradition of excellence.